I'll just remind everybody that this most recent round started in December, right? December 23rd, a huge omnibus. Most, a lot of people don't know what an omnibus was, but suffice it to say $1.7 trillion in spending that's generally unaccounted for, printed money or money created out of thin air. And then literally two weeks later, Janet Yellen comes out and says, hold on, everybody, we're out of money. Hit the credit card limit. You better fix this. Now, that you telling me they didn't know that two weeks before? They knew it. They knew they were break, breaking the bank. Um, and it, but they didn't care. Uh, th th that's simply how it goes. They didn't care. Now, listen, we're not going to default on America's debt. Now, Freedom Caucus members have habitually not voted for debt ceiling increases because we didn't come here to bankrupt the country. But we understand that the Democrats forced this on us, and we've got to deal with it. We've got to govern. And so we want to be part of the solution. And so where we have never voted for something before, we thought it was important to say, you know what? We are part of the solution. Democrats are often critical of Republicans and certain free, certainly Freedom Caucus members of, as they say, not having a plan. Well, we have a plan. The plan is to shrink Washington and to grow America. And we gave them very specifics in the plan uh, just over a Friday ago. But it starts with clawing back money that's, that's already been allocated, so to speak, but hasn't been spent yet. We don't have to spend money that hasn't been spent that's unnecessary. We don't have to act like, oh, well, we can't touch it. We can touch it, and we don't. This is exactly what families do that, that outrun the money that they make. They just simply stop spending as much, and they don't go out to dinner maybe as much. They, they, they curb what they're doing because their situation has changed, and that's where it starts for us. Uh, some specifics that you already know, future top line, FY22 for non-defense discretionary. The other thing this is, that this all does is allows us to get to where we need to be on our appropriations process to stop the chaos, the literal chaos across the country imposed by Democrats and the Biden administration to go from crazy to normal, right? The craziness and the chaos on the southern border, forcing people, still forcing people to get a vaccination to go to work. That's not normal. That's crazy. And so, and then. Hello, friends. Happy Friday to all of you. I have big news to share with you this evening. The Biden administration and other congressional lawmakers are now meeting with county leaders to discuss recurring stimulus checks for the American people. Many have pushed to approve plans that would automatically deposit $100 checks for all eligible households. My friends, Please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these proposals. Also, at the end of today's video, I will be announcing the two winners of today's Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Some of the largest counties in the United States are joining forces to provide guaranteed income to residents who are in need. County leaders from Los Angeles County, Chicago's Cook County, Houston's Harris County, and much more help make up counties for guaranteed income. This is a coalition of local leaders hoping to collect research to try to expand no-strings-attached cash assistance programs nationwide. Research suggests that guaranteed income programs can provide a path to financial stability and address poverty. Coalition members recently met with leaders at the White House and Capitol Hill to make sure the case for guaranteed income efforts, including the child tax credits. However, guaranteed income is not supported by all. Some critics argue that these programs will stop people from working, though such claims have been challenged or will be too expensive to maintain. The board is following in the footsteps of mayors for guaranteed income. A similar group made up of more than 100 city mayors across the United States. And so far, their programs have impacted almost 6,000 individuals offering monthly payments of up to $1,000 for as long as three years. 
Most of the money spent in these programs was used on retail sales and services, followed by food and groceries. Transportation and housing expenses then followed. Participants have previously told ABC News that the programs have taken weight off their shoulders, helping them pay bills, afford childcare for their children, and provide some sort of stability. Though the coalition of county leaders has just begun, county based initiatives are well on their way. Families receiving money from a guaranteed income program in the state of California are receiving their next payment of $500 in 26 days. Sonoma County, California selected 305 families to receive $500 every month for the next two years as part of its Pathway to Income Equity program. And the next payment is scheduled for April 19th. Officials will study what effect the additional income has on reducing poverty and promoting economic mobility for families with young children. Angie Dillon Shore, the director of the nonprofit group First Five Sonoma County, recently told the Washington Examiner that these payments would go out to recipients on the third Wednesday of every month, and the final payment will be issued in December 2024. Applications for the program were only open to applicants who met specific criteria, including being a resident of Sonoma County, California. Other criteria included being pregnant and or the parent of a child no older than five years old, being affected by the crisis, and making an income of less than 185% of the federal poverty level. The federal poverty level is $42,606 for a family of three. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about guaranteed income programs? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Recipients of the Chelsea Eats program in Chelsea, Massachusetts, need to wait just over three weeks before they receive their second payment that is worth up to $400 from the program. A total of 738 households will receive payments ranging from $200 to $400 from the program on April 15th, which will help Massachusetts residents buy food and pay their utility bills. The city distributed debit cards to recipients in early March, which is how recipients will receive their payment. The April payment marks the second of three payments this program will provide to recipients. The first payment was already issued on March 15th, with the last one being planned to be issued sometime in May. The amount that people will receive from this payment will depend on the recipient's household size. A household of one will receive a payment of $200. A household of two will receive $300. And any household with three or more people will receive a payment of $400. So to be selected for this program, applicants had to have been residents of Chelsea, Massachusetts and have a household income of 30% less than the area median. For a household of one, this income level would be $29,450. And for a household of two, it would be $33,650. With the income limit increasing slightly for each additional person in the same household. This program will last for three months and will issue payments to recipients around the 15th of each month. So friends, please comment below if you agree or disagree with guaranteed income programs. Well, my beautiful and most dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Friday. Thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community and for being here every single day. The two winners of today's Walmart gift card giveaway is Adrian De Los Santos and Sandra Reberger. Congratulations, my friends. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you can also message me on my Facebook page. Remember, friends, I'll be giving away more gift cards next Friday. 
If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.